hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to fix the issue blurry or stretch screen on windows 10 or 11 so let's start the video without wasting our time guys first of all you need to make sure that your resolution is set as recommended so you need to right click on your desktop and once you right click you should be able to see the display settings here just click on that option and once you click on that option go all of the options here Let's first one is this scale one scale in layout choose this option as recommended 150 or whatever is suggested on your computer then this is most important part display resolution also set this as recommended and once you set this as recommended check back if that fix your issue or not if you are using external or I mean the dual screen on your computer so just again go to same settings here and select the secondary option and select the display resolution as a recommended one or 300 768 this is a standard one 366 1366 into 768 you can try this out as well first, first recommended is this one automatic recommended and you can also go to advanced scaling settings here and let windows try to fix off blurry just leave everything as default from here now let me go back once and we can go to advanced display options here and I will show some settings here refresh rate also plays a vital role in order to get a better resolution on your computer choose that option and go for largest one I mean the higher one go for that option and if that is not working guys since somehow it is not supported so you can select the lower version and it will surely fix your issue so this is the first method to fix this issue if also this doesn't help you guys just open your device manager sometime if the display driver is outdated or not updated so you may get this issue as well from here go to display adapters just right click on your adapter if it is a Microsoft that that means that that is a basic driver you need to select the hardware driver in my case my manufacturer hardware driver is Intel HD if you have Microsoft just right click there and simply update it just update it and select your search automatically for drivers I'm not selecting that since my video will be affected so you need to select this option and check back if that fix your issue or not it will surely fix your issue also you can go for monitors and also update this driver as well other apart from this you can right click it and disable it and also scan for any hardware changes if it was working fine before but after that sometime it is not working you can look for a scan for hardware changes now so this is the second step if this also doesn't help you and unable to fix your issue guys so I should recommend you to go for check for update here make sure you have the latest windows just search check for update and once you search on windows 10 and 11 you should be able to see this option just click on check for update and if any pending updates are there just restart it and it will fix your issue also I have the some commands to fix the windows corruption hit yes option and tap this command SFC scan now SFC space photo slash scan now and this is asking to restart the computer restart computer and then you can try it restart it and I'm pretty sure your issue will be fixed you can also go to the manufacturer website guys if nothing is working for you you can go to manufacturer website and you can install the manufacturer driver from there HP driver 
I'm using HP let's say if you are using the or the Dell Dell driver you just need to enter here the serial number you can even detect it but go to PC support and like this way HP and these are the serial information you can see here serial number is shown up on your laptop physically you can even type it manually or you can hit this command just open the CMD and tap this command WMIC CS product once you hit this command you will get your serial number this is the identifying number just you need to copy this okay and paste it here simply and press the enter key or search it once you search it choose your operating system and click on submit and click on display driver here let's look for the graphical one graphic driver and select here the latest one just click on download option here with the date is recommended here already just click on download I will download it manually choose the location save it and simply run the CXE and restart your computer similarly you can go, go for these options as well you can product laptop select your serial number whatever you can like you can choose the options here you can directly search here the serial number as well as I have already shown you the command here this is the command just paste the serial number here and then click on search and install the manufactured driver so these are the steps to fix this issue guys I'm pretty sure your issue will be fixed if you have carefully applied these steps so I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching